When COVID started, we took immediate action to protect our staff, our volunteers, and continuation of care for the patients. We grouped together doctors, nurses, staff, and decided what direction we needed to go in. We used that protocol throughout these months and months of COVID and we have not furloughed any of our staff, and we've continued quality of care for our patients and protection of our volunteers. You're going to breathe in real deep. But we had no idea the steep learning curve it would be to talk to our patients about what they needed to do, not only while they're at the clinic, but on a daily basis so that they could survive this. We were able to keep the patients calm and confident in the care that we were going to be delivering for them because we have a history. Some of our patients have been with us the 21 years that we've been operational. PPE was hard to get, so training the patients, educating the patients, not only on their health care that they may need to pick up and do some things, but also PPE and their safety was paramount. We were open every single day. We saw every single patient, and we had physicians and nurses here all the time. It's just so rewarding to be able to help them and to see how appreciative they are of what we do for them. I can't tell you how impressed I have been with the providers who came here as volunteers and continued to serve in this crisis. Hello, my name is Paul Jones. I'm a local family physician who's been lucky enough to be involved with the neighborhood clinic since its inception. It goes without saying that 2020 has been a very challenging year, not only for the clinic, but also for our patients that we serve. Even so, throughout the year, our labs have grown and also the number of patients that we have seen has grown. So we'd like to take this opportunity to thank our volunteers as well as the clinic leadership that has allowed us to stay open and provide the services for our patients during this challenging time. COVID-19, uh, as everyone knows, has had a dramatic effect in, uh, in many areas of medicine. The uh, decisions made around keeping the clinic operational to as much of an extent as possible have been quite beneficial to the patients uh, that are served here. Well, the laboratory is an integral part of delivering health care. If I need to know what somebody's liver enzyme studies look like or what their hepatitis C viral load is, then the laboratory is very helpful with that. And the fact that, that the laboratory is going to be expanded and giving us more on-site services will really be quite beneficial both to the patients and to the clinicians who volunteer here. One of our concerns is that we be able to test our patients while they're here so that we don't have to send them out for another test. Hi, I'm Susan Jones, a Neighborhood Health Clinic volunteer. This has been a difficult year for all due to the COVID-19 and your safety is our most concern. Therefore, we have decided to transform our annual event into the no-show Gourmet Vintner Dinner. In 1999, the Neighborhood Health Clinic, when it was first started, actually did not have one-on-one -on -one or group education programs. But realizing over the 20 years in working with our patients, it was important to develop those programs. So, this half of the plate are your low carbohydrate foods, like your salads, your tomatoes, your cucumbers. And today we have a program, Healthy Lifestyles, where Karen Eastman, a dietitian, actually works with our patients and teaches them what to buy, what to cook, how to prepare it, and what to do with this. The power of food in eating a variety of different colored vegetables, the rainbow of colors that you see in the food, how they have a benefit, health benefit, to maybe lower your blood pressure. And it's important because it teaches our patients really the needs to deal with diabetic education and weight management and other things that they're dealing with. And a lot of our programs we've seen with our patients that average three to five chronic diseases, this is a necessity. And what we've now seen is we're in the construction phase of building the Van Dalman Education and Wellness Building, which will allow us to enhance our programs, develop those programs even more to really help our patients and really make a difference in their lives.
I'd like to thank you for your past support of what used to be our block party that has grown into our gourmet vintner dinner. This year, we'll be having the no-show gourmet vintner dinner. Because there will be no event, your contribution is 100% tax deductible. We do have a generous donor that stepped up to provide $250,000 that will be matched dollar for dollar. Thank you again for your generosity. We appreciate it.